Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to get more than 500k an hour using only one minion. Now, just for some comparisons, a snow minion makes 60k an hour. So that is the equivalent of more than 8 snow minions. And the best minion in the game, a tier 11 tarantula minion, while, a while being AFK'd in some sort of grinder, makes 180k in a day, if you were to AFK for 24 hours. This makes more than 500,000, and so is definitely the best minion in the game. But, as you guys can probably guess, it's not a normal minion. It's actually a cobble minion, uh, but it's not, it's not an ordinary cobble minion. You see this cobble minion, it's tier 9, doesn't have to be tier 9. It, it's it's good. It's got a little bit of a you got a little bit of a cobblestone generator here, but the real money is down here. This is a, a nether wart crystal, which can be gotten on the potion brewing island with the soul sand. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, and a wheat crystal, which is on the farming island. And you can pick them up by right clicking them, and you can place them back down. You can only have two crystals on your island, and I don't think you can have two of the same crystals. So down here. And so basically, the water the water comes down whenever it breaks it. It breaks all the nether wart and the wheat. And then it goes down into a little chest storage system down here. So, this basically is where we make all the money. The cobblestone minion, it makes an okay amount of money. It's, it's okay. But really, the nether wart is where you make the most money. I AFK'd on the island for an hour to test how much money it would make in a day. And I made 25k. 23k out of that was just the nether wart. The wheat sells for a bit, but the seeds are, don't sell for anything. And the and the cobblestone minion, it doesn't really, it's an okay minion, it'll work fine, but it's not great for money. Building this is super simple, you just need some quartz or whatever block you're gonna use, a lava bucket and a water bucket, and a cobblestone minion, and I guess hoppers and chests. So. You just wanna you wanna go place these blocks here just to mark spaces. Um, so one here, two block or three blocks down there, three blocks down there. And so then you're gonna wanna go two uh, this way, and then you're gonna build five up, and then break all the ones under it. And then you just need to build around this like so. So, and this is where the water is going to go, is just so it doesn't spill out. You're going to want to take this one block here, and then have a gap there. So you're going to want to break this. And then here, this is where the lava is going to go. You are going to have it two blocks tall because the lava is going to go on the block above. right here. So here we have the uh, cobble generator complete. It is extremely simple. So the water falls here. You're going to want to build a thing over here, down here. And so this is where the nether wart is going to go, or the wheat, or whatever. I don't know. You can switch sides if you want. I won't stop you. And this is where the other side will go. So just like that, it, it's complete. Um, you have soul sand here, a hopper here, chests, whatever kind of chest system you want under there. And then you just place a cobble minion right here, and it will just have a little clock, and it's very simple. Oh, and you want to place the um, you want to place the crystals here and here, uh, or like anywhere inside of here. As long as it's in the range of these two places, it will it will happen. It's pretty simple. Uh, cobble minion goes right there. So just to show you how it works, I'll break it like the cobble minion would. Flows there, breaks the crops, gets dried up, crops get placed. It's it's that simple. Uh, uh, the one problem that I have with it, my biggest problem with it, is that when you walk by, you'll pick up the nether wart. Um, you you can find ways to combat it. That that's the big problem. But it makes you so much money. It is really efficient, and it basically gives you three minions in one. Thanks for watching. I'm currently 29,940 subscribers away from YouTube rank, so uh, every, every subscription counts. 
If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you really liked it, please subscribe. Share with your friends who need more efficient minions. If your friend sent this to you, you need more efficient minions. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, I really haven't seen like any YouTubers or any popular people doing this. Um, so I assume it's pretty unknown and it's better than a snow minion or a tarantula minion or whatever you put down. You can only have one of them obviously because the crystals, you can only have one of each crystal and only two on your island at a time, but uh, it's definitely a very good minion and should be in use on every island. So thanks for watching, goodbye.